Hi, welcome to my channel. Today's video is about tips that I've learned from other carnivores that have helped me to navigate my carnivore journey. Just to be clear, I wasn't and I'm not part of any carnivore group. I'm making this video to credit those incredible people for making amazing content and providing us with valuable information. Additionally, if you're starting your carnivore journey, any of these tips might help you too. As a big favor, if you have tips, please leave in the comments down below because it might help someone to make their journey smoother. Tip number one from Dr. Anthony Chafee, eating until meat tastes bad. This tip helped me in the beginning to know when I should stop eating. As someone who is coming from binge eating disorder, I believe it's an amazing way to know when you are full, especially at the beginning of your carnivore journey. Now I'm not eating until the meat tastes bad because now I'm in tune with my hunger levels and fullness levels. Before, after finishing one pound of steak, I was questioning myself. I ate a lot, but why I want more? It was because I was coming from a very malnourished diet and my body was craving nutrients. So I ate until my body say, please stop, it doesn't taste good anymore. Tip number two, Kelly Hogan's burger patty test. It is eating burger patties to determine if you are actually hungry or not. Sometimes we don't know if we are actually hungry, especially when eating a lot of dairy. The tip I have learned from Kelly Hogan is to prepare enough plain burger patties and keep them in the fridge. And when I'm hungry, I ask myself, if I want to eat these cold plain burger patties, if the answer is yes, that means I'm hungry, I need to eat. If the answer is no, that means my body is craving more cheese. That means I'm not hungry. I'm just craving more dairy or something else. Just to be clear, I love burger patties and when I'm actually hungry, I really like them. Tip number three from Lily Kane. Eating too much butter can contribute to fat gain. I completely agree. Not in a sense that eating too much butter by itself can make you gain fat. Instead, eating excessive amounts of butter can lead a reduction in the consumption of other foods and fat sources. For example, when I consume a lot of butter, I tend to eat less fatty beef, fewer sardines, and less pork fat. Ideally, I try to incorporate different sources of fat into my diet because they have slightly different micronutrient content. Tip number four from Coach Raymond Mason, eating cold butter when you have cravings. Sometimes we might have cravings. For example, as for me, especially when I'm nearing my period, the certain chocolate on my husband's table may look tempting. To be honest, I don't actually want to eat them. I don't actually like them. But the nostalgic feelings they used to give me, I crave that sensation again. When this happens, I grab cold butter from the freezer and I eat them and the cravings are gone just like that. <laughs> Tip number five, Bella from the Steak and Butter Girl. Not eating rendered fat at the beginning of your carnivore journey. Everybody is different, but I'm sure the majority of us did not consume as much fat as on the carnivore diet meaning our bodies are not ready to handle that much fat all of a sudden. It should be a gradual transition. The tip I have learned from Bella is to avoid rendered fat in liquid form, as it might cause heart palpitation, nausea, diarrhea, and heartburn. If you're drinking rendered fat in a liquid form and having those effects, please stop at least for a while. Tip number six from Laura Spass, sticking one rule at a time. Most of us have jobs and families. Sometimes life gets hard and it's difficult to adhere all the routines we follow every day. For example, I work, practice intermittent fasting, uh, work out and follow the carnivore diet. Sometimes because of work or family, it's hard to follow all the rules and routines I have set for myself. When this happens, I stick to at least one of my rules. I might not do intermittent fasting on that day, but I stick to my carnivore diet. Or if I consume something that is not carnivore, skip a workout or break other routines, I still commit to fasting on that day no matter what so that I can get right back on track the next day. Tip number seven, Jen from Delighted to Meet You. That's a bit of a weird tip, but I didn't know you could cook eggs in air fryers. I think this is genius and time saver because I don't have to wait until my water is boiling. I just put them into my air fryer and wait 10 minutes to get my soft boiled eggs. Can we call it soft boiled, even if it's not boiled? 
All right, this is it for me today. If you happen to know any other tips, please share them in the comments and let's help each other out. Until the next time, bye. If you have learned anything new, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Bye.